the Mickey Mouse Club presents The New Adventures of Spin and Marty. Today's episode, The Searching Party. <laughs> be a homey little shack, all right. Hey, Ambitious, go over to the barn and get some straw for the floor. Oh, uh, why do I have to do everything? And get plenty. We want to make a nice little soft bed for him. OK. You know, it's too bad they're just common, everyday little old rabbits. They aren't common. Don't say that. No offense, Half Pint. All I meant was, well, if they were Angoras or chinchillas or something, we'd be in business. Yeah, I hear there's big money in raising rabbits. You said it, Spin. Why, they make all kinds of fancy sweaters and stuff out of that Angora wool. And fur coats out of chinchilla. Nobody's gonna make no fur coat out of Pat and Mike. Don't get excited, half pint. Mm -hmm. We're just teasing you. Is that all play yet, Spin? Yeah, it works all right. Come on, guys. Here's your straw, Mooch. Why don't you watch out what you're doing? I'm sorry. I think you're right, Perkins. The sooner we put this thing in cold storage, the better. Very good idea, sir. It certainly would be a great relief to me. Those kids are just as liable as not to blow this whole place up, putting this thing back in shape. Yeah, we better uh, put it in back. Give me a shove. Yes, sir. Mr. Logan! Mr. Logan! Yeah? Those new mares out in the back corral, they're missing. Missing? They're gone. They must have busted out during the night. Oh, well, they must be around here someplace. They ain't around here. I've looked everywhere. They knocked down the top rail of the corral. Kind of rambunctious for mares. Maybe one of the kids knows something about it. Maybe so. Boys! Boys! Come here, Manor, will you? Hey, Mr. Logan, I wonder what he wants. Now, you two be good rabbits, and I'll bring you a carrot. Hey, you boys see those mares get out of the back corral? Not, Not me. Not me either. Either. You've seen them around? No, sir. No. Why? Is there anything wrong? It's all the excitement. Well, it seems that those new mares in the back corral wandered off during the night. Golly. Say, Spin, maybe that's what I heard. Skyrocket was winning and he woke me up. He sounded awful excited last night. I must have been pounding my ear real good. I didn't hear a thing. Hey, maybe somebody stole them. Horse thieves. Oh, boy. I shoot them. Bang, bang, bang. Now, wait a minute, Mooch. You've been seeing too many cowboy movies. Maybe some wolves got them. 
There aren't any wolves around here. Bet you was a mountain lion. What about dynamite? Dynamite? Yeah, maybe he stole them. You remember how Ollie used to tell us about those wild stallions that come down out of the hills and raid the ranches? You know, break down the fences and run the mares off? You no, know, Marty, maybe you've got something there. Well, he's been hanging around here all spring looking for trouble. Come on, let's get on his trail before he takes to the hills. <coughs> hey, you guys! Where do you think you're going? We're gonna help Bill. Oh, no, you don't. You're gonna stay right here. Bill does need any help rounding up that wild stallion. Gee, Mr. Logan, dynamite's tough. You might put up a fight. Well, a lot of help you young sprouts would be. Well, maybe not the little kids, but Marty and I... Who's a little kid? No, Spin, I'm sorry. I'm responsible for you boys, and I can't take a chance on you getting hurt. Oh, we won't get hurt, Mr. Logan. And we're pretty handy with a rope. Now, Master Martin, I don't believe your grandmama would approve of such an expedition. Well, then you come along, Perkins. Then she'll approve of it. Oh, no, sir. You know horses don't like me. Ride Daisy. She loves you. Daisy? Oh, dear. Don't tell me that wretched mule is still around. Yep, she's still here. Oh. I think it'd be all right if Spin and Marty came along with me. They're pretty fair cow hands, and chances are I'll need a little help rounding up those mares. Well, I ain't gonna wear myself out chasing all over the range for a bunch of silly mares. That's for sure. <laughs> Come on, Joe. Please, Mr. Logan, we'll be careful. Oh, all right. Perkins, you go with him. Oh, dear. <laughs> Gee, I don't see why I can't come along, too. Now, well, Moochie, somebody's got to stay here and help me take care of the rest of the boys. For Pete's sake, what do you think I am, a babysitter? <laughs> <laughs> you better get saddled up, and I'll have Sam fix up some grub for you. You boys had better bring your bedrolls along. It's liable to take us a couple of days to catch up with that ornery critter. Good deal. I better go get my gun. Gun? What for, Bill? Well, you never can tell. We'll be able to run into a rattlesnake or something out there in the range. Might just well be prepared. You're not going to shoot dynamite, are you? Not unless I have to, Marty. You can't. I won't let you. A wild stallion can be mighty dangerous when he's cornered. Dynamite's not dangerous. Maybe a little rambunctious sometimes, but say, let's catch him and bring him in and tame him. He'd make a real fine cow pony, Bill. We'll leave that white bandit right out there in the hills where he belongs. But you won't shoot him. Look, maybe we'd better find him first, huh? Now, you run along and get your stuff together. We've got to get moving. OK, Bill. I hope I'm not making a mistake letting you take Spin and Marty with you. They'll be all right. They're pretty sensible kids. I know, but they're sure sentimental over that loco stallion, especially Marty. Well, come on. We haven't got all day. What's biting you? Nothing. Oh, quit worrying about that wacky horse, will you? He's not wacky. How many times do I have to tell you that? Well, you sure do act goofy about him. I'd like to catch him. Oh, come on now, Marty. We're going out after those mares. We haven't got time to waste on that wild hyena. What's the matter? Are you afraid of dynamite? No, but I'd just as soon stay away from him when he's on the rampage. You know something, Spin? I'm going to bring him in and tame him. Oh, you and who else? Oh, he's not so tough. Yeah, well, I wouldn't give you a plug nickel for him. Come on, hurry up. Of all the dirty tricks. I don't see why I can't go. Tracking down a wild stallion's no kid's job, Mooch. Well, I'm not a scared old dynamite. You should be. He eats little kids alive. Ha ha, very funny. You all ready? Yeah, we got everything. Daisy, old girl, don't you get huffy or I'll have to box your ears. Oh, you can laugh about it, but I will, you know. I really will, so you don't mind your manners. Yes. Oh, you obstinate creature. 
Oh, what seems to be the matter, Perkins? You having trouble? Oh, Mr. Burnett, I'm afraid I'll never master the art of valeting a mule. She won't even let me tighten her cinch. <laughs> Thanks, Hank. All we have to do now is put on our bedrolls and we'll be all ready to go. Hey, fellas, look. We've got company. Next episode, Moochie in Trouble.